Thank you for joining us today. I am Bishop Ramon Di Maria, and I am the pastor of Abundant Grace Church. For prayer or information, you may email me at abundant.grace at att.net. Our mini message today is formulate your life's goals. I will be coming from the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, and verse 15, which reads Live life, then, with a due sense of responsibility, not as men who do not know the meaning and purpose of life, but as those who do. My beloved, we have all set goals and have frequently left them behind for other goals. Let's look at goals. Goals are the vehicles by which we transform our objectives into reality. Now, this is where a lot of people get mixed up. And quite frankly, it's the reason so many people live aimless lives. They don't have a clearly defined goal. A goal is a desired accomplishment that is easily measured by time and performance. For example, I might say, I want to know the Bible better. That's an objective, but it's not a goal. A goal would be specific. I want to read one chapter of the Bible every day, beginning today. Or maybe you would say, I want to be slim. That's not a goal. That's an objective. A goal would be a specific accomplishment. Like, I want to lose five pounds by the end of the month. Anytime you are formulating a goal, remember that a goal answers basically three questions. One, what do I want to happen? Two, how will I know it happened? Three, when do I want this to happen? So my beloved, when we're dealing with goals, we have to sit down and meditate on these three things, one, two, and three. So what do you desire today? What do you hope to accomplish? And when are you going to start and complete your goal? Starting today and till the end of your life? Starting today or five years from now? You must be specific as to your purpose. See, God led us here to this present time that we could reflect on what we want to do in the future. Do you want to serve him? Do you not want to serve him? Do you want to serve the world or not serve the world? My beloved, do you want to live eternally in heaven with Jesus Christ? Or do you want to just live a life here and then gamble on eternity as to the place where you will spend eternity? Do you want to make the best use of your time here on earth despite all the difficulties of these days? My beloved, don't be vague, but firmly grasp what you know to be the will of God. Know your purpose. What is your purpose? What do you want to accomplish? Are you hoping that it will happen? You see, my beloved, people go on diets, let's say, and they start. But then when things don't go right, like they don't lose the weight that they want to lose, they give up. So many people fall behind because they set unrealistic goals in front of them. Always set realistic goals. And when you accomplish one goal and you have peace about the accomplishment of that goal, then you can set another goal. But don't set 10 or 20 goals up, especially like when you make a New Year's resolution. The majority of those resolutions fail within the first quarter of the year. My beloved, it has been said and said many times that you're not really ready to live until you know what you want written on your tombstone. If you were to die today, with those who know you the best, those that attend your funeral or talk about you afterward at the fellowship after the funeral or at the church, what would they say? Would they say this is the purpose for which he or she lived? My beloved, you must know why you are here and what God has for you. Study God's word. Pray. Seek him. Set realistic goals. Don't overdo it. Be led by the Holy Spirit as to what he wants you to do for God. Then when your life comes to an end, you're at the final, uh, let's say, days of your life, and you look back, could you conclude that you lived your life well and significantly? You see, my beloved, the great tragedy in life is not death. The great tragedy in life is life without purpose. God created you for a purpose. That's why you must seek him for the purpose that he has for you. Start today by formulating your goals for God. Meditate on the word of God and ask God through Jesus Christ what he wants you to accomplish with your short time here on earth. Let us pray. Father God, in Jesus' name, thank you for the message. Formulate your goals or formulate your life's goals. It has touched us today. We haven't looked at it from this perspective before, but now we see the importance of why we are here, why we were created. Lord, help us to formulate 
our goals. Let us look to you for your guidance and your wisdom, which comes through your word, which comes under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Help us to meditate on what we want to happen, how we know it will happen, and when do we want this to happen. Thank you, Father, for your word today, as we pray in the name of our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ, to whom we glory, power, and majesty, now and forever. Amen. My beloved, have a great week.